When Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy broke off their brief romance last summer, a supposed insider revealed to Page Six that Swift would not be writing albums about this one. The relationship was a fun little thing whose moment is over. That source might have correctly predicted that Healy wouldn't consume whole albums, but songs seem a different matter. After the April 19th release of Swift's The Tortured Poets Department, surprised fans noticed a few tracks seemed not to address Swift's ex Joe Alwyn, or her current partner Travis Kelsey, or even herself, but the 1975 frontman Healy. One tune bears the particularly brutal name, The Smallest Man Who Ever Lived. The title itself is noteworthy, given that Healy's stature is an object of some debate. In 2018, the singer-songwriter told The Fader, everyone in the 1975 is 6 feet 4 inches and I'm 5 feet 10 inches, so everyone thinks that I'm 5 feet 5 inches. In 2022, he informed a fan that he was, sick to fucking death, of this injustice, given that he is, in fact, a big boy. But the real giveaway, the song's subject matter, is in the first verse. Gazing at me, starry-eyed, in your Jehovah's Witness suit, Healy's trademark outfit is, as the New Yorker described it, a close-cut suit and a tie, also a favorite amongst Jehovah's Witnesses who seek to reflect the values that we live by, and show respect for our God. Although Healy is not himself a witness, he has, arguably, dressed like one. Other keywords abound in, the smallest man who ever lived. Swift references, rusting, her, sparkling summer. That seems a nod to the fling's early summer timeline, she calls out the, you, in question for buying, pills, Healy has spoken publicly about his experiences with addiction. Swift asks, were you sent by someone who wanted me dead? During the couple's romance, some Swifties expressed fears that Healy, a controversial figure, posed a threat to Swift's reputation. On the tortured poet's department, Swift appears to address this particular concern with the track, but Daddy I Love Him. As an Entertainment Tonight source shared in June 2023, Taylor and Maddie broke up. They are both extremely busy and realized they're not really compatible with each other. Taylor's friends want what's best for her and aren't shocked that their relationship fizzled out, but if Swift's lyrics mean what fans think they mean, that fizzled relationship might have been more powerful than any of these sources dared assume. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like and share the video. Thank you.